My name is Emma Newberg and I'm here at the gallery at Plymouth College of Art to talk about my solo exhibition. All my drawings start with a screen printed grid. At the beginning of every year I print hundreds and hundreds. I find having that structure really helpful in which to pour the images and the colours and the colour dynamics. And when I first started using this screen print, all my drawings were very geometric and abstract. But as I got better and more fluent with my process, they became looser. And some of the work in the show is um, almost quite organic looking, even though you've got that geometric grid. It's taken five years for the digital language to really kick in and sort of anchor within me. And also the confidence to be more fine art orientated has, has evolved in that period. What I loved about preparing for this show was the white cube aspect and putting something that might have connotations of sort of classical domesticity or femininity within a quite harsh cuboid space and yet to recognise all the equal value in the process. I think um, they invited me to kind of perhaps be the first show of the textile season because I am a bit interdisciplinary. Um, there are lots of different media that I use and so for the students here, especially like the textile and fashion students here, they can see the language being placed in exciting and quite unusual ways. So much of art school is, is trying to get you up and awake and doing visual research and finding out about the outside world. But actually, once you've graduated, and you want to create something really unique to you that's not too generic if you want to stand out from the crowd, then actually just quiet time and that idea of your dream and this idea of essence, the essence of you and what's so unique about you, all those convergences to create something unique. It was probably 10 years after graduating that I started to locate my own look in the digital media so that I've got a kind of style and a thing that's, that's exclusive to me. I haven't seen anyone else do it. So it's just been a, a slow process of experimentation and dedication. Aim for the best. That's what I tell my students. Imagine the top distilled version of what you do and only make that. If you're going to create things which essentially of a visual nature, then just aim for the very, very best essence.